Apple has been transitioning all of their Macs to their new M1 chips, and one of the most powerful Macs we've seen so far is the new MacBook Pro. What is up guys, my name is Chase and this is the 14 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro. I got this laptop to replace my 16 inch Intel i7 MacBook Pro. And now after using it for a few months, I am going to share three things that I like about it and three things that I dislike about it. So let's start off with things I like about the 14 inch MacBook Pro. Number one is the size and build quality. As I mentioned earlier, I am switching over from a 16 inch MacBook Pro down to the 14 inch MacBook Pro. To be honest, the 16 inch MacBook Pro was just overkill for me. I mean, don't get me wrong, the screen was nice and big, like it was good to see everything that large in a laptop. But in terms of like ergonomics and portability, the 16 inch was not my favorite thing in the world. I like my laptop to be kind of like lightweight, small and portable. So the 14 inch works very, very well for that. And the nice thing is that with these new M1 MacBook Pros, for the most part, you don't really have to choose power versus size. Both the 14 inch and 16 inch MacBook Pro can get very similar specs. It's not like you have to get the 16 inch just to get the most powerful machine. You can also kind of fit it into the 14 inch. But yeah, I feel like the size is perfect for me. I mean, also keep in mind that I am a tiny human. <laughs> it just feels nice to carry this around in a backpack or something, or, you know, even just holding it in my hand. Having it on my lap and just typing away, it just, it feels nice. I feel like it's the perfect size for a portable laptop. In terms of the build quality, this is the first time in a while I believe that the MacBook Pros have actually gotten thicker with two Cs. When I first unboxed this 14 inch MacBook Pro, I put it side by side with the old 16 inch Intel i7 MacBook Pro and they were about the same thickness. So the 14 inch is basically the same size as the old 16 inch. And for the most part, I feel like the MacBook Pros should probably be like a thicker machine. I don't know, something about the thickness just makes it feel substantial. And because of the thickness, that actually brings us to the second thing I like about the 14 inch MacBook Pro. Thank goodness there are so many more ports on this thing. <laughs> In typical Apple fashion, they did something totally drastic with the MacBooks, which was that they basically switched to all USB-C. Personally, I didn't mind it too much, like I'm all for USB-C, but for whatever reason, Apple decided to take a step back and listen to the consumers. We have a lot of different ports on here. They brought back the MagSafe charger, which is like really crazy to think in 2022 that we're back to using the MagSafe. We have two USB-C ports the headphone port, an HDMI port built in, one more USB-C port, and an SD card reader. And as someone who excessively makes videos, I'm very very glad we have the SD card slot back. So if you are looking for a laptop that has all the ports you need built into the laptop, you know, you don't have to deal with dongles or anything, the new MacBook Pros have just a lot of ports, which is nice. My third and last thing that I like about the 14 inch MacBook Pro is the performance. I think quite surprisingly, Apple's transition to M1 chips has been very, very positive. Like a lot of the benchmarks and stuff have just been saying that these M1 chips are like ridiculous, which very surprising to see and good for Apple. And I can say after using this MacBook for a few months now, I still have yet to hear the fans run, which is like pretty crazy to think. I think back to my old 16 inch MacBook Pro and how if I even just turned that thing on, the fans would start blowing. With this one, like who knows, maybe they just bamboozled me and there are no fans in this because after all the video editing I do and like photo editing and stuff, no fans, which is just crazy. And this is just the M1 Pro version, like I imagine with the M1 Max MacBook Pro, that must just be insane for like workloads and stuff. So I am very very satisfied with the performance of the 14 inch MacBook Pro. So there's three things I like about the 14 inch MacBook Pro. Let's talk about my dislikes. The first thing I dislike about the 14 inch MacBook Pro is the notch. We have to talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> They brought the iPhone's trademark feature over to the MacBook. We have a notch now. I don't know, like, I get why they had to do it, obviously. You know, it's where the webcam sits. They wanted to make the bezels as small as possible on this thing, which is very, very impressive. But for some reason, the notch just makes the display feel a bit cramped. Like, you know, having your menu bar, and especially when you have applications where the menu bar can be quite large. Along with that, by default, if you move your cursor, like, over the notch, it'll actually go behind the notch. 
which freaks me out sometimes because I lose where my cursor is. And then I'm just playing peekaboo with my cursor behind the notch. I believe there's like a script or something where you can actually change that. I just wish that you had more functionality with that in the default settings. I mean, the notch isn't the biggest deal in the world. I find it a little bit annoying, but it's not like a deal breaker for me or anything. We'll live with it for now. <laughs> The second thing I dislike about the 14-inch MacBook Pro is the lack of support for Intel apps. It's pretty much a no-brainer that this would happen because, you know, the switch over to Intel to Apple's M1 chips, some applications weren't going to make the transition. I think the main one for me that was just a heartbreaker was not being able to use Boot Camp with this. Again, just like the notch, it's not the biggest deal in the world. It's not a deal breaker for me at least. I could actually see for some people it being a deal breaker. I believe there are some apps like Parallels that are making the transition to M1, but just having Boot Camp come with the Mac free and being able to install a full copy of Windows and just use it like a Windows laptop. It was very nice, but obviously now that we don't have Intel, it's no longer possible. And the third thing I dislike about the 14-inch MacBook Pro is the lack of touch bar with a question mark. <laughs> because I have a love-hate relationship with the touch bar. Like I can see why people dislike the touch bar a lot. The fact that it is like system run, you know, and the whole touch bar could potentially just glitch up and just stop working. I've seen that happen a couple times. But in some scenarios, the touch bar was actually pretty helpful. I thought it was pretty cool that it could change functions depending on what application you're using. I just feel like the touch bar offered a lot of different options in terms of like function keys, whereas now they took out the touch bar and just have these physical keys, you know, obviously you can't change what the function is on every key. So I don't know, just like the notch, I can see both sides to the touch bar situation. I feel like this might just be an instance of, you know, the grass is always greener on the other side, but I actually didn't mind, you know, the customization and the options that you could get with the touch bar. But anyway, those are three things I like and three things I dislike about the 14-inch MacBook Pro. If it isn't pretty obvious, I am loving the 14-inch MacBook Pro so far. It's pretty much been able to tackle anything I throw at it. All the different ports are really nice. Like most Apple products, the 14-inch MacBook Pro has just really great size and build quality. And overall, it's just a nice little powerhouse in a tiny body. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the new MacBook Pros. If you want to see more of my Apple videos, feel free to check them out below. For now, thank you for watching my review of the 14-inch MacBook Pro. My name is Chase, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.